Good evening, and thank you for joining us this evening for our Village of Elsa board meeting. Today is Tuesday, February 19th, 2019. We'll call this meeting in order at 7.30. So can we call the roll, please? Yes, Trustee McGreal. Here. Trustee Dalzell. Here. Trustee Zielinski. Here. Trustee Juarez. Here. Trustee McLaughlin. Here. Trustee Murphy. Here. Mayor Ryan. Here. We have a quorum. Thanks. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before we start our meeting, I, I would like to just ask for a moment of silence. I'd like to ask everyone to please remember everyone that was um, obviously we lost five five lives in Aurora on Friday night as well as the five policemen who were injured and certainly we pray for their full recovery just a moment of silence please thank you very much that's a terrible thing that happened Friday, and certainly everyone's got them in their prayers. That was just a, really a terrible thing, so close to home here. Um, we'll go to officers' reports, starting with myself. Uh, I did receive, I was just telling Mike Frater, our public work superintendent, um, that today I did receive our Cook County Block Grant Award for $200,000. That's a ma matching block grant, so it'll be almost $400 overall that we're going to spend. Uh, to do um, inversion lining, Mike, right? And, and the sanitary sewers, right? Yes. Okay, so it's it depends, Mike, is, is there a priority neighborhood that we, or is it just wherever we need the service? Yeah. I mean, uh, David Estates subdivision. David Estates? Yeah, so whatever uh, sanitary lines we find throughout the inspections and carrying most, those will be the ones that we're going to line first. Okay. So we're probably looking at approximately 15,000 feet. About 15,000 feet of pipe to get relined. Also, Mike, it did have a provision, and we only have 12 months to use it. If we do need more time, we got to give them about a six-month notice. Okay. I'm sorry, Mayor. Could you repeat that dollar amount again for the grant? It's a $200,000 grant, and it's a matching grant, so we're going to put 200000 against that, so it's $400,000 overall. Thank you. Okay. And um, I did excuse um, our... Our engineer will dole in this evening, Mike. You, you've got his report then, too? Yes. Okay, thanks. And then I had, um, oh, I'm sorry, number one on your agenda was uh, approval of uh, Jim McKenna as the appointed member of the Village of Elsa Fire Pension Board. Uh, Mr. McKenna is going to replace myself on that fire pension board is what's known as the appointed member. So that's a mayoral appointment. I just wanted to let everybody know that's what we were doing. And we thank Mr. McKenna for his service to, to, the, to our, our community and certainly the pension board to help out. Uh, next is the clerk's report. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, presentation and approval of the February 4th, 2019 Board of Trustee meeting minutes. Uh, approval of the January 2019 IDOT motor fuel tax allotment in the amount of $41,822.83. And finally, approval of the January 2019 FOIA report. There were 29 FOIAs last month. That is all, Mayor Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have the attorney's report. We have Mike Hankar with us. No report, sir. All right. Thank you, Mike. As I said, the, attorney, uh, the engineer was excused this evening. Um, Mike, do you have his report? Yeah, so Michael's the contractor that's doing the sanitary sewer televising and we're televising and uh, cleaning um, they've been in town working this week they've completed approximately 13,500 feet worth of inspections on the lines right now so um, work continues with that also folks uh, if you've noticed um, I talked to a couple of residents they weren't sure but we're, we're still in the process of doing a tree inventory right now right correct um, we're working on that it's uh, west side of Cicero right now that'll be the final um, phase for the inventory of the trees and then the entire village will be completed i actually had a couple calls in my office people are like hey i saw a guy out in front eyeball in my tree what are you, what are you doing there this is nothing we just want to make sure you're not putting an emerald ash board back where we took it out and stuff that's right. all so no um thank you uh that 
That's all. He, that's all. Uh, engineer's report, Mike. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Uh, we're reaching the public forum part of our meeting. Does anyone in the audience wish to address the board this evening? Nobody. All right. Thank you. Then we'll move on to the standing committee reports. We have the finance committee, Trustee McLaurin. First, I have a request for approval of a list of payroll dated February 15, 2019, totaling $395,083.93. <clears throat> Next, I have a request for approval of accounts payable dated February 18, 2019. From the recap, general fund $344,927.57. Road Bridge, $43,426.71. MFT, $1,770.32. Pulaski Road Corridor TIF, $18,851.59. Water and Sewer, $365,346.35. And Heritage, $27,610.88. For a grand total, all funds of $801,933.42. And next, um, our finance director has requested that we start holding budget meetings. <laughs> so, Kent, what were you thinking of for next week? Um, I think for the next few Mondays and possibly, I'm, I'm trying to minimize how many um, we're having on other days, but we probably will need a Saturday or a Thursday or something along those lines. Um, but next week from 6.30 to 7.30 before the committee meeting, um, because we didn't have one today, I, I, um, depending on what we have on there, we may adjourn that and come back at your discretion um, at the end of the meeting. Um, just, again, to try to minimize how many other days we're coming in, but it really depends on what's on the agenda. Um, and we'll probably start pretty fast from there. Um, we, I've met with most of the department heads, and we've gone over the budgets. Uh, requests, for the most part, uh, are down in terms of some of the bigger projects um, from previous years, but um, we still go through it all, and uh, the department heads will start presenting that. Mm -hmm. But so six thir six thirty next, um, it will start six thirty next Monday, okay. um, before the seven thirty committee meeting, and depending on what's on the committee meeting uh, at the trust uh, uh, chair's discretion, it may adjourn and come back at the end of the committee meeting. So you'll send a request for a yes. finance mm -hmm. committee meeting? Thank you. And it will probably be um, police uh, and public works or streets. Um, and depending if we come back, uh, water would probably be the sort of if there was enough time. Yeah, that's all I have, Mayor. All right. Optimistic, right? I'm a very optimistic. I'm, I think we're going to fly through this this year. We've got it all worked out, right? All the bugs worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Love your uh, optimism. Thank you. Uh, we'll move to the fire committee report. Trustee McLaurin. No report this evening, Mayor. All right. I did excuse the fire chief. He had uh, nothing on his report this evening. Uh, next, we have the police committee report. Trustee McGrill. I have approval to make our annual firearm ammunition purchase from Kaiser. Keisler Police Supply in the amount of $10,372.75. And I also have approval of the January 2019 monthly activity report. Okay, thanks. The next would be the Public Work and Boat Launch Committee, Trustee Juarez. I have an <coughs> approval of the January 2019 monthly activity report. And I also have an approval to award the Parkway Tree Pruning Bid to Smitty's Tree Service, Inc., at a cost of $30,449. That's all, Mayor. Okay, thank you. Uh, the Building Committee, Trustee Zielinski. I have approval of the January 2019 monthly activity report. That's all I have this evening, Mayor. All right, and then we'll move to sewer and water, Trustee Delzell. The approval of the January 2019 monthly activity report, as well as the approval of resolution derecognizing a $1,530,434 water fund liability, and the ordinance is attached. <coughs> That's all I have, Next, we have the License Committee, Trustee Juarez. I have an approval of a list of licenses dated January 29th, 2019 through February 11th, 2019. That's all, Mayor. All right, thank you. The Economic Development Committee, uh, Trustee Murphy. 
I have approval of the January 2019 monthly activity report, and that's all I have, Mayor. All right. And next is the Planning and Zoning Committee trustee. No report this evening. Uh, special Committee Reports, Village, Village Properties, Trustee McLaurin. First, I have a request for approval to go out to bid for the replacement of the 35-ton rooftop air conditioning unit for the police department. Next is a request for approval to go out to bid for the replacement of the ingress-egress windows at Heritage 2. Next, approval to go out to bid for the seal coating of the asphalt at Heritage 1, Heritage 2, and both fire stations. And finally, a request for approval to go out to bid for the replacement of the common area carpet at Heritage 1 and Heritage 2. And that's all I have. All right, thank you. Roger, are we all done painting all those hallways in the Heritage 1, Heritage 2, now too? Yes. We are? Good. Thanks. Excuse me, Mayor. Mm -hmm. Under number three, uh, are we going to talk about that uh, extra handicapped spaces over there at Heritage? I think it, it really depends on when we have the striper take a look at that, and we're going to get a report back. What we talked about was we uh, the last couple of weeks I had to meet with some of the Heritage folks, and we talked about the possibility of when this gets reseal coated, because right now we're just going out for bid on this, but when it gets reseal coated, I'd like to look at the idea of maybe incorporating one extra handicapped spot each building. And I understand, you know, the the uh, repercussions we might lose a parking spot to accommodate like a second parking spot to accommodate that but if you can have the striper take a look and see how we can consolidate that if we can make that happen and obviously discuss that with the uh, village properties committee and let them know if, if that's possible and make it happen we've had a lot of requests from both heritage complexes it's, these are 55 and older complexes and certainly it's a fair request um, but again Right now, parking's pretty tight to begin with, and to sacrifice an additional spot it, with, with how many how many buildings, Roger? Uh, Fifteen buildings at Heritage uh, Two and fourteen over Heritage One. Okay, so to, to give up thirty-one extra spots is, is is a lot of sacrifice too. So let's take a look at that and the, see if there's any way we can try and make that happen. Okay. Yeah, All right. Thanks, Trustee. Um, insurance Committee, Trustee McGrill. I have no report. Okay. Ordinance and legislation, Trustee Murphy. I have approval of an ordinance of the Village of Alsip consenting to approving the authorization, authorizing and execution of an assignment of lease agreement, a first amendment to lease agreement, a memorandum of lease agreement, and leasehold mortgage and security agreement relative to the construction of and operation of an outdoor advertising sign on real property located at I-294 and Costner Avenue. And that's all I have, sir. You know, just, I know there's a lot of language there. Danny, could you come up to the mic and speak to that, please? Yeah, this is in regards to the outdoor, uh, the billboard on I-294 at the water tower uh, property. Basically, what the original leaseholder chose to sell this lease or assign this lease to an, another company, they're looking to construct the sign, and all this paperwork is involved in transferring that lease to them as well as you know, closing all the other loopholes that they need to close to get this s sign built. And trustees, just so you know, we saw Danny identify that, and he's, he was correct to say that. When they transferred, when they basically sold the rights to the, the new company, uh, we saw a um, gap in there that uh, Attorney Joe Kankar helped us with to say that uh, it wasn't like an open-end like construction start. You know, we this way, Dan, they're going to start within a year to have that up. Correct. Yeah, it, it, the original language of the you know assignment allowed them to hold the lease for 20 years and never construct a sign if they chose not to. Um, we modified that language, got them to concede that they need to construct it within the year. So we met with them a week or, week or two ago, and yep. we got this worked out then, too. Yep. So. Currently, the only other issue is we need to clean up an issue with it. There's two pins down there. Somehow one of the pins has lost its, its tax exemption, and there's some back taxes owed on it. We're trying to clean that up. You know, 
Attorney King Carter is going to be working on that as well. And that's old. That's old business. I mean, that goes back to like 1998 or, or even before, right? 98 is yeah. correct. Somehow that exemption was, you know, not continued on, and it started to accrue taxes. Nobody was informed of this until the uh, title company was looking into, you know, the properties that for for the loan for the the sign. And, and when we talk about property too, we're talking about like. It's seriously like a sliver. How big is that piece of property? It's the, actually the um, what's what's called Mosquito Creek. It's the, the, the creek in front of the property there. Yeah. I mean, you're talking something that's maybe 8 feet wide by 20 feet long type of thing, but because it, it represents a pin by the county, we have to clear up our pa- we have to clear up our paperwork with them and stuff then too. Correct. So we're doing that right now. So, all right. So anyway, like I said, a lot of language there. Everyone got a copy of the ordinance, but I wanted to just break down what that was. That's all. So... The good news is no one's going to buy back taxes on anything called Mosquito Creek. It, well, th- yeah, thank you. And, and, again, all that's going to be abated, too. We owe no money on that, but it's just a matter of just cleaning up the language on it and stuff then, too. So, um, Next is the IT Committee, Trustee Delzell. No problem, Mayor. All right. And then the Human Resource Committee, tr- uh, Trustee McGrill. I have no report. All right, thank you. Next, Health and Pollution, Trustee Murphy. No report, Mayor. And then we have the traffic safety, Trustee Dalzell. Uh, we received a couple of requests, and that's going to go uh, for discussion in the next committee. Other than that, no report. Okay. All right. Um, trustees, any petition, presentations, petitions, or communications? I wanted to share with everybody, uh, this just happened this afternoon. Um, we are going to work we're going to have a meeting tomorrow, actually. Um, I'm going to speak with the fire chief in depth on this. I had a, a just a uh, preliminary report that many businesses now, with this transfer of the Skeltron program, uh, some businesses, you know, let's say they might have had a favorite that they wanted to use another um, fire alarm service, which was fine. That's their prerogative to do. We weren't monopolizing it. The problem that we're running into is. Um, oversight. In other words, the businesses aren't following our ordinance that said you're supposed to give us a 30-day notice, and they just have you know ABC Company coming out and disconnecting our box, and subsequently we have to go out and say no, you're not following procedure right. We have to qualify the equipment that we designate as UL approved and so forth. Then too, so we're having some problems with that right now and we're going to try and resolve this as as quickly as possible but I certainly want to avoid you know um, fining everybody but at the same time they're not following our ordinance so we have to come to an agreement on how we're going to get this done and right now the fire department is trying to identify how many businesses this is happening to uh, to at the same time so I'll get a report back uh, to everybody as soon as I know more but this just happened in the last few hours that I got the initial report uh, about the transfer. And there's probably, right now, there's probably 10 companies that we're looking at uh, to identify whether or not we can have this corrected quick, quicker. But the problem is is that we can't leave these buildings unsecured. So in other words, once the Caltron box comes out, the new guy hooks his box up, and they got to test it right away to make sure everything, you know, for life safety purposes, we're going to make sure all this is done in a timely fashion. And it's all a matter of coordination. And in many cases, nobody's calling us ahead of time. They're just taking it upon themselves to make these switches. So it's frustrating the fire department right now, the fire prevention officers all over this, as well as the fire chief. And as soon as I know more, I'll, I'll share it with everybody else. So we'll move on to our, would anyone like to remove anything from the consent agenda? I'd then like, can I get? Uh, Mayor, I'd like to remove item I. I. Anything else? All right. Can I get a motion to approve the consent? Uh, establish. I'm sorry. Establish the consent agenda. So moved. So moved. Second. Roll call number one to establish the consent agenda. Letter I as an indigo has been removed. Trustee McGreal. Yes. Trustee Delzell? Yes. Trustee Zielinski? Yes. Trustee Juarez? Yes. 
Trustee McLawhorn? Yes. Trustee Murphy? Yes. Motion carries to establish. <clears throat> Okay, can I get a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented? So move. Second. Roll call number two to approve the consent agenda. Filling in some information. Letter E, approval of a list of payroll dated February 15th, 2019, totaling $395,083.93. Letter F, Approval of a list of accounts payable dated February 18th, 2019, totaling $801,933.42. Letter O will be known as Ordinance Number 2019-02-2. Again, roll call number two to approve the consent agenda. Trustee McGreal? Yes. Trustee Delzell? Yes. Trustee Zielinski? Yes. Trustee Juarez? Yes. Trustee McLaughlin? Yes. Trustee Murphy? Yes. Motion carries. All right, let's go back to an item that was removed from the agenda. The consent agenda, I should say, is uh, letter I. The approval of a resolution de-recognizing a $1,530,000, I'm sorry, $1,530,434 to the water fund liability. Uh, Trustee McGill, do you have a question on that? No question. I just want a separate vote. Okay. I get a motion, please, in a second, then, to do that? So moved. Second. Roll call number three to approve letter I, approval of a resolution derecognizing a $1,530,434 water fund liability. Trustee McGreal? No. Trustee Delzell? Yes. Trustee Zielinski? Yes. Trustee Juarez? No. Trustee McLawhorn? Yes. Trustee Murphy? Yes. Motion carries. Very good. Next. Can I put the number, please? I'm sorry? The, the number. number. I'm so sorry, Trustee Delzell. The resolution will be known as resolution number 2019-02-R-1. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Delzell. Okay, next with the... Um, Oh, any unfinished business, trustees? What about O? Gee, yeah, O was O2. Oh, okay. Um, any new business? Um, I'd just like to mention that once again, election season is upon us, and Village Hall will be an early voting site starting May 8th, I'm sorry, March 18th. Um, it will run Monday through Sunday for two weeks before election, and including the Monday before. Uh, times will be posted and we'll get stuff up on the website and Facebook page as necessary. Sounds good. Uh, then, ladies and gentlemen, at this time we're going to go into a closed set. We're going to adjourn to a closed session. Nothing else is going to be voted on this evening. Um, we're going to go into closed session to discuss collective negotiating matters between the public body and its employees or their representative deliberations concerning salary for one or more class employees per five ILCS one slash chapter two. I get a motion, please, in a second. Here, I move uh, that motion. Second. Roll call number four to adjourn to closed session to discuss collective negotiating matters between the public body and its employees or the representatives or deliberations concerning salary schedules for one or more classes of employees pursuant to 5 ILCS 120-2, slash Chapter 2. Again, roll call number four to adjourn to a closed session. Trustee McGrail? Yes. Trustee Delzell? Yes. Trustee Zielinski? Yes. Trustee Juarez? Yes. Trustee McLawhorn? Yes. Trustee Murphy? Yes. Motion carries to adjourn to closed session. Thank you very much, folks, for joining us this evening. Trustees will go across the hall in the next five minutes. Thank you. Adjourning to closed session at 7.54 p.m.